Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and I am here with a layout that is kind of two challenges in one. Um, I'm, I have this picture of myself, it's a little selfie I took one morning when I was um, feeling kind of pretty, I had makeup on, and me and Joshua were going out to run errands, and it was just a good day. So um, I'm using this as a um, page that Jenny Box had um, done a page like this. She did like a selfie and kind of journaled about how she feels about herself as she's, you know, getting a little older and things are changing and, you know, all that stuff and self-confidence and things like that. Um, and she she challenged others to do the same thing, you know, talk about positive things and things like that. And um, so I am taking that challenge. It's not like a prize challenge or anything. It was just a fun thing she said. So um, I'm doing that. And this is also for a Victoria Marie Facebook group challenge. This is one of, part of her 12 Days of Christmas that she has going till the end of December. And this was seven pretty papers. So I have seven different pattern papers here. And um, I have a piece of cardstock in the back. And then I have a... the larger piece of paper that I used on the back is um, Amy Tangerine Stitched and that came um, in the uh, December hip kit. That's what I'm using for this page by the way. I did not say that in the beginning. <laughs> Most everything here except for these papers came from the December hip kit. Um, and the other papers that I used there are all from a Heidi Swap 6x6 paper pad that I picked up at Michael's a while ago. And I just tried to use pretty colors, you know, pinks and yellows and things like that. And then the gray star paper is from Studio Calico. And that was just a scrap I had. So I kind of laid them around. And then um, the paper in the top right says life is beautiful. And then the paper in the bottom left, the yellow one says choose happy. And I wanted those words to show, to show through. So I kind of layered them so that those two phrases were prevalent. Okay, and the rest is from the hip kit. So this is my December hip kit here, and I'm going through some things that I think I want to use on here. Um, I had emptied out all of my, all, a lot of the packaging that I could so that I could easily rifle through it, especially like the die cuts and things like that and the wood veneer. Um, so all of these die cuts are from the Amy Tangerine stitch line. Um, they came in a pack, so I'm using up a whole bunch of those. Um, the wood veneer is from Evalicious and I used two of those. Uh, the arrow says selfie and then the one underneath that I just put underneath the photo says heart photo or like love photo or something. A heart and the word photo. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to figure out my title and I want to use um, those gold thickers for sure. And I found this tag um, which is by Evil... Uh, no, not Evalicious. It's... um. Oh, Jelly Bean Soup is um, that craft tag that says smile. So I'm going to use that as part of my title. Um, and I'm going to use one of those gold thickers as well. So I'm just kind of trying to see exactly what I'm going to, um, you know, how I'm going to place everything. I have this gold star paper clip that came in the kit. I'm not sure who made that. It just came in a glass and bag. So um, I am putting down these little photo corners that came in the die cut pack. I'm going to go ahead and put down these wood veneer with my glossy accents. I'm literally, I'm literally just going to start layering some stuff here. And I'm using my ATG on the tag so I have to really like hide it. <laughs> I have to fold it over and stuff like that. But. And um, I'm getting these flowers down. Those flowers are gorgeous. Oh my gosh. And they have some little gold foil accents in them. So cute. Um, that little arrow, wood veneer arrow, says selfie. And so does that one. So I have two little selfie arrows pointing towards the picture. And I used the word yo on these uh, Dear Lizzie stickers. Oh my gosh. I, when I saw that, I was like, oh, <laughs> I love that. It says yo. <laughs> And you have to do that in your best Jesse Pinkman impression. I do not do a good Jesse Pinkman, but in my head I do. So uh, my title is going to be Yo, Remember to Smile. And that's what my journaling is going to be about as well. So I'm trying to see if I can find some letter um, 
tiles here that say remember and to, and I do have them, so I'm gonna use those. Um, and then I forgot that I had this really pretty um, gray doily transparency from Hambly Studios that I had sitting right there. So I was like, oh, I wanted to put that on here. So I'm just gonna layer it behind. I had to pull it up a little bit, but it's okay. And I have these two feathers that I'm gonna end up using. I think I put them on the other side, but I do a couple other things first. So I'm also using this washi tape, and this is a thin washi tape from the Amy Tangerine Stitched line. And it's a really uh, pretty like aqua color. And I have this die cut that says life is better with a smile. So my journaling is gonna be all about, um, you know, remembering to smile and to look at the bright side of things and be happy and you know don't get down on yourself and things like that because I I struggle with that for sure um, and I'm really to a point in my life where I just I want to stop all the negativity I want to stop all the you know self-doubt and the negative thinking and things like that so um, I really enjoyed making this page because you know it kind of helped me get a couple of thoughts out and um, really started me thinking about things like that so stuff I want to work on for this this coming up year. Um, so I'm going to make some lines for my journaling and I realize I'm going a little bit crooked. So <laughs> like, oh, let me straighten that out. So I don't stress out about it. I just keep going. <clears throat> um, but since I'm journaling across, like I end up journaling across those two different papers. So I wanted to make sure I was going to be going straight instead of crooked, even though I drew the lines crooked at first, <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> Um, I don't have it in front of me. I wish I could read the journaling to you, but I can't because I don't have it in front of me right now. But basically it's, you know, I, I'm very hard on myself and I, um, put a lot of pressure on myself to be a certain way or to be perfect, um, especially when it comes to weight loss, which is what I'm struggling with, you know, currently. And, um, I need to let go of some of that pressure and just, you know, accept myself for who I am and not try to expect myself to be something that I'm not, you know, it's just start being more realistic about what I can achieve and when I can achieve it, and, you know, things like that. So just start focusing on more positive things and stuff like that. So that is what my journaling is about. And as I was writing, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm still writing. <laughs> I got out more than I had planned to. So that's good. It's good to get your feelings down. And let's see what else do I do. Oh, I'm adding a date stamp. So I wanted to date the day that I, you know, did that journaling and it was December 14th. So I think I pick one that says, yes, I use a Studio Calico one that says documented. So it'll say documented December 14th, 2014. So I'm just going to date that right above that Hambly transparency there. And I'm going to add a couple of these little puffy stickers from Evalicious. One says review of today and I'm going to use a couple hearts and a couple dots from there. And I believe that concludes my layout. So thank you Victoria and thank you Jenny for the encouragement and the ideas and the challenges. I love, love, love this page. I'm very happy. Um, I have some close-ups here coming for you guys. Um, I hope everyone had a great New Year's, and I will be back again real soon with some more layouts for you. Have a great day, guys. Bye.